internet, it is Tuesday. And I am going to be staying home, staying home this evening because our babysitter for Rev on Tuesday nights. Katie, my sister-in-law, Leah and Micah's mom, she watches Rev every Tuesday night, but she has to take Leah to the doctor tonight. So um, everything is okay. I'm just going to go get something checked on. But, um, so I'm gonna be home with Lomas Rev, but it's still, it's actually only three o'clock. Are you okay? What is that face? <laughs> Are you making funny faces? Are you making funny faces? What is that face? Do you want to come here? Come here. Oh, a scape. You escaping? Where are you gonna go? She's probably gonna go down to the bathroom or her bedroom. Well, let's go see where Revelyn's going. Where are we going? Are we going in our room? Well, your room. Daisy, be careful, please. Let me turn off your fan if you're gonna play in here. She wants to play, apparently. Well, well, Revelyn's playing in her room. Um, so it's only three o'clock, but Rev and I are hanging in her room, I guess now, because <laughs> she wants to play with her toys that are in here. Um, I have a few things I need to get done. Like one being I need to clean my ring. I have Ryan's birthstone as my engagement ring gem or whatever. November actually has two birthstones, the citrine and topaz. And so we decided to go with the birthstone, not color, because citrine or like the color for November is orange. I don't know about anyone else, but the thought of an orange stone didn't sound very appeasing. <laughs> but I really like the idea of having Ryan's birthstone. Um, so we went with topaz and just chose whatever color, because topaz comes in like a bazillion different colors. And thankfully, um, November had two different stones. And citrine only comes in this like really like brownish orange color. Oh, she's on the move again. Where are you going? Bathroom? I'm gonna have to close the toilet, huh? Anywho, so, but because like having this type of colored stone, it tends to get like, you can notice it being dirty a lot faster and I actually haven't cleaned it in a while so I need to do that. Bring Elmer to mama. Can you give Elmer to mommy? Can you give me Elmer? Yep, come on, bring Elmer. Are you bear crawling? <laughs> You're so funny. She goes so fast. I should probably put some pants on her. She's gonna get some rug burn. <laughs> Do you want some pants on? Your smell can trick me no more Cause I know you for too long For too long to keep on what kept me going, kept me going through the void But that void is long since gone And now you're trying to ask for me Much better. That is much cleaner now. Like before there was like dirt in between the diamonds and the halo. So I have to show you guys something because it's really cute. I'm gonna see if Rev will do it again. The camera's in the other room. So I couldn't run and get it because she was up high on something. But we'll show ya. So Revlin has no, she does not remember in the slightest using a pacifier. Careful. And her cheeks are all uh, glistening. They just put some Honest Organic Healing Balm on there. So I'm trying to fix her super dry, careful, super dry cheeks. So while she was up here and I was putting it on her face, she discovered her old pacifier bin. And now she's just, Looking at them all. Do you remember? Like, I, she, she put one in her mouth and she just thinks it's hilarious. <laughs> she just thinks it's so funny. Oh, honey, that has the cover on it still. I'm not worried about her trying to get back into a pacifier because she literally, she has no clue. Doesn't even get how to use it. Are you putting them back in there for mama? Whoop, put one in there. We're gonna take them out now. What are you doing? Are you go potty? Yeah. Okay. Crotch grabbing. 
Let's go on the party. I just got home from work and this crazy girl <laughs> is just having a ball over there on the couch, huh? She just kind of gets to the edge and looks over. Oh yeah? <laughs> So she That edge is what she doesn't care to care about. She just like <laughs> tries to go just over and play with the thing. Yep. Pay attention. Yep, you're crazy girl. <laughs> you are so cute. Oh, you're giving that to me? Oh, thank you. <gasps> there you go. Good job, Rev. Can can I have one? <laughs> Yeah, let's clap our hands. Oh yeah, good job. Are you sitting on the couch? He's sitting oh, on the couch with mommy. So oh goodness, girl, you are too cute. Careful. She's hyper. My yeah. goodness. Oh, careful. So we are making breakfast for dinner. Really, it's any time that we don't have stuff that's quick to make and we just kind of want to have a quick meal it's breakfast for dinner right uh-huh because it's super easy scrambled eggs you throw them in the pan for five minutes maybe and they're done waffles throw them in the in the whatchamacallit the what's that thing toaster and bam it's done and there yes. you go you guys know, like, we're not gluten-free people, but the Meyer gluten-free waffles are really good. Are, like the best frozen waffles. They're yeah. so good. Mm -hmm. well, Even Rev like likes them. Too. Ooh, you get eggs and waffles too. In your mouth. <laughs> oh, you dropped it. She got a little piece. What's wrong? <laughs> I think we need to get one a little more your size. I love she's just whipping stuff. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so Ryan is gone this evening like I was telling you guys. Little Miss Rev is having a snack right now. Let me tell you guys. A growth spurting child. They're quite a lot to handle. It's like basically like all of a sudden being handed a child that you have no idea what their schedule is because they're requiring more sleep and eating more and so the schedule that they had before isn't working anymore. <laughs> but she napped really good today. She took like a two hour nap this morning and an hour and a half this evening. And it's been really weird, like at night it seems like she doesn't need a nap but she just needs to go sit in her crib or lay in her crib for 10-15 minutes and then she just is perfectly fine then because like nothing else will make her happy she'll be really cranky she doesn't want to play on the ground with you she doesn't want to eat she doesn't want to go to the bathroom she doesn't really want to do anything but then you put her in her crib let her have 10 to 15 minutes of her to herself and then she'll start crying then you go get her and then she's okay again <laughs> so um it's been an interesting last couple days that's for sure oh are you coming over well you're gonna lose all your put it on Where is it? Where'd it go? <laughs> is that it? <laughs> Did you find it? Yep, just throw it away. Oh no, I want it back. So as you heard me over there with Rev, I'm home. I filmed a video yesterday, and it was gonna go up today. Ariana went through and was just doing a quick edit of it last night, and it was just super choppy. Didn't come out very good. That is why there was no video up today on my channel. I'm gonna have to redo it at some point. And you know what I think? I'm thinking now that I'm just gonna put that topic that that video was on off for a little bit, and I'll do something a little more fun or something next week I think. As soon as Ariana started editing the video I was like I can't even watch this I'm so boring like I can't even stand to watch myself and I'm probably boring right now too but you know what it's a different type of setting and it's not the same. I think I'm just gonna try and 
for the next couple of weeks do more fun type videos or something that I don't really have to have like an outline for, just something I can ramble on about and it'll make sense. You gotta learn. I gotta learn to be better. And now my arm is hurting so I'm gonna set you guys down. Just like that. <gasps> Say good morning, good morning. It's the next day and we're gonna end the video. Oh, someone's coming to say hi. Can you say hi? Are those my pants? Are you pulling on them? Well, anywho, it's the next day, obviously, guys, so we're going to end the vlog. And do you remember what the question today was? Oh, favorite person from history. So I thought about it, and while Red is throwing her toys back in the middle that I just pulled out, I think I'm going to have to go with Thomas Jefferson or Benjamin Franklin. Obviously, they're not only um, some of the founders of this great nation that we live in, but take Thomas Jefferson, for instance, you know, he wrote the Constitution. He was the lead writer of that, and that is a big part of the freedoms we have, right? Yes. So I probably would mainly go with Thomas Jefferson for that reason, but Benjamin Franklin did accomplish quite a bit. You guys probably know he was a really good inventor. Um, there's a lot of things about just his personal development and how he accomplish the things he did that I really respect about how he went about it, but that's like a whole long conversation. Anyway, uh, that's the, that was yesterday's question of the day. Today's question of the day. Rev, what should today's question of the day be? Oh. Should we ask him if they have a secret hiding spot? Because I think I found yours. Except it's not so secret. Well, sure, we'll go with that. Do you guys have a secret hiding spot? And I'd understand if you don't want to tell us where your secret hiding spot is. And let us know if there's anything currently in your secret hiding spot. And drinking some milk. <laughs> so that's going to be it for today's video. Rev, why don't you come here to say goodbye? Can you come here to say bye-bye? Come here. Come here to say bye-bye. You're saying bye-bye the wrong way. She's just saying bye-bye. There you go. Good job. <laughs> So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave your answer to the question of the day down in the comments below. And as always, we'll see your wonderful faces. Can you say tomorrow? Oh, you blow kisses? Blow kisses, bye-bye. Rev, can you blow kisses? No. Mwah. Is that funny? Can you blow kisses? Mwah. Good job. Bye, guys. Thank you.